Hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. Alec, you are on mute. Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to our webinar. Yes, uh, uh, webinar of itglobal.com together with WIM. And uh, today we would like to talk uh, about uh, backup tools uh, to keep your data safe uh, in the cloud. It's really a very important topic. Uh, my name is Oleg Arsenyev. I am um, responsible for business development in itglobal.com. Uh, um, and I would like to introduce our expert today, uh, Maxim Arkhangelsky, a senior cloud engineer of Veeam uh, Software, uh, our very good and reliable partner. Hi, Maxim. Hi, Oleg. Thank you for the introduction. Um, today, our plan is the following. So in the beginning, I will start with some um, small and quick introduction about us uh, for first time attendees. And uh, then Maxim will go um, into a uh, topic of uh, backups uh, with all technical details. Uh, you may ask questions if you have uh, using uh, uh, Q&A uh, interface, um, and uh, we will have Q&A uh, section uh, in the end. So we will try to answer uh, all of your questions. Okay, uh, let's start. So uh, as I have already mentioned already, uh, I represent uh, itglobal.com. Uh, we are an international group of companies. Uh, and we focus in uh, uh, everything related to information technology. So we provide different IT services. Uh, we develop our own IT products, integrate IT solutions, and so on. And since 2008, uh, we work with virtualization, um, IS, and the cloud services. And we were among the first uh, WinWay partners on the time. Uh, so it at the moment, we already have more than 14 years of successful experience on this field. Uh, we designed and deployed our own cloud infrastructure in reliable data centers in different countries. Um, um, now we have our own site in Amsterdam, Netherlands, uh, where we provide services of um, public cloud, uh, private cloud, uh, managed IT services, and others. Uh, we already serve for more than 1,000 customers worldwide and have many partners in different regions. Uh, different regions. So let's uh, go to the next slide. And uh, there are some information about uh, backup services we provide in our cloud, in cloud of itglobal.com. Uh, in general, there are two uh, main options. Uh, the first one uh, is Veeam Self Service. Uh, it's used by the customers who has their uh, virtual machines in our infrastructure, in our cloud. Uh, and it is a very useful tool to configure uh, all parameters like frequency, depth, and uh, other things for the backups. So it can be done um, into independent uh, storage system. Uh, also backup can be done to separate track uh, for long time storage. It can be kept in some specific remote locations and the customer uh, himself has an access to management console and he can configure all these parameters uh, by himself. So he can see all the jobs done. Uh, he can restore virtual machines, et cetera, et cetera. So he has full control. Another option uh, in our cloud is the uh, service of Veeam Cloud Connect. Uh, it is used for uh, virtual machines uh, located uh, outside of our cloud environment. So if the customer has its own infrastructure uh, or use another uh, cloud uh, um, provider, he um, has Veeam software and want to use our cloud repository for storage, he can uh, do this uh, using this service. So the backup, the backup copy uh, will be stored in our environment and the customer as well has uh, its own management console uh, where he can configure uh, all necessary parameters. Uh, he can control it, uh, design uh, the frequency depth and uh, uh, all other things and see how this activity happens. So um, as well, we help to the customers to configure uh, all these backup parameters uh, with our specialists if it's necessary. So it depends uh, on the customer approach if he's doing with his own specialist or uh, with other help. So let's con continue with some interesting statistics. Um, actually, we uh, work quite a time uh, with cloud services in different countries. And um, actually, there are some customers who use the backup service. 
uh, in our cloud uh, and some customers do not use it. So uh, we made a quick analysis and uh, find out that at the moment we have uh, only 47% of our customers who back up uh, at least one virtual machine in, their, in our cloud environment. Um, and also we have some big customers with hundreds of virtual machines and they do backup for everything. So including development and testing environments. And sometimes we also see that they restore uh, virtual machines from these non-production environments. Uh, they consider it's a very useful service, a uh, very important tool uh, in their uh, work and they are ready to pay for it. So it's interesting that from uh, year to year, uh, the percentage of uh, the customers who is doing backup is growing. So now we have 47%, so uh, a year ago it was less. Um, also, uh, you can see here uh, some set statistics, about five requests per year we receive from current clients uh, asking to help to restore uh, virtual machines uh, when um, there were no backups done. So uh, in general, all our customers has the access to backup console by default. So they can uh, uh, do all the configuration um, and uh, to do the backups uh, in the right moment. Uh, but sometimes they don't want to do it or forget or, or whatever. Um, and uh, when it's not configured and the data is lost, uh, they come to us with the desperation, but unfortunately nothing can be done at that point. Um, thus, please remember that for all important virtual machines, for all data, it is necessary to configure uh, at least any type of backup backuping process. And of course, it's better to do it uh, using best practice how it should be done. As well, uh, about four times per month, we receive uh, requests from our potential or existing clients regarding some uh, atypical backup solutions uh, that is not covered uh, with the uh, two options that I mentioned before. It can be specific situation, some customized solutions that customer wants to implement. And uh, uh, these four requests per month is relatively uh, main requests. Uh, so as soon as we receive them regularly, we decided to invite an expert from our vendor uh, to describe uh, all options of uh, backup solutions in the cloud uh, and not only in the cloud uh, environment. So, and here I would like to give a word to uh, Maxime from uh, Veeam uh, who uh, can talk about all possible options and benefits in a more detailed uh, way. So please, Maxime, help us to do uh, all this backup process uh, <laughs> safe and reliable. Yeah, thank you, Oleg. Uh, before speaking about Veeam Power Services, I would like to highlight that IT Global uh, is a reliable partner who can help you with professional services. So customers and partners with whom I usually speak, they have a brainer like uh, how they can migrate data to the cloud. And here is the solution for you. So use IT Global infrastructure and uh, ask there for professional services to cover all your needs. So we are in partnership for a long time already. So feel free to reach out to them. And yeah, I will go on with what can be done uh, with Beam solution in IT uh, global cloud, private cloud. So first of all, uh, Veeam services are not limited, but include service provider data protection, off-site backup capabilities, and public cloud data protection. So in terms of service provider data protection, this is what you will get from them if you place virtual machine in their infrastructure. You will get uh, managed services, uh, backup, disaster recovery as a service could be also an option, and software as a service data protection, like Vim Backup for Office 365, uh, Vim Backup for Azure, Vim Backup for AWS, Vim Backup for Google, and etc. So all the product portfolio which uh, we have is also supported by IT Global. So services uh, are not limited only to backup. So it's also professional services and disaster recovery as a service. So you should be prepared for some event before it happens. So this is where we step in and uh, sell our solution. So first of all, uh, Vim backup and replication to protect your virtual machines in service provider data center. So it's possible with our Vim backup and replication for service providers 
So restore options here are full virtual machine recovery, instant virtual machine recovery, which gives you a capability to run a virtual machine from the backup directly on the host. So this will be a production ready VM, but it doesn't require any time uh, to transfer the data from backup storage, which we call repository to uh, the hypervisor. Guest files restore is also doable. Application items like uh, databases, uh, SQL, Oracle, uh, exchange items, uh, Active Directory items. So it's all under the hood. You should just put the checkbox for specific processing, which we call application where processing and this restore capability will be available for you. And also you can restore to the cloud. So here I mean not restore in IT global cloud, but uh, into AWS or Azure. So you can make a right mouse button click or ask your service provider to make a right mouse button click and restore your data into the cloud. Just in case of emergency, in case of redundancy, it's all up to you. It's just a simple right mouse button click and here you go for sure we will use the underlying infrastructure subscriptions and etc but from the uh, vim side if you have everything prepared it will take uh, not too much time i mean and money for sure so uh, here i would like to highlight uh, our core components so i already mentioned the repository but we have the concept of um, kind of units so we have a backup server proxy and repository so backup server is is the console uh, the management console ui or whatever we can call it and the database behind it vim backup proxy helps uh, vim to process your data in the desired time frame so you, we can tune up proxy uh, performance I mean CPU cores, logical cores and RAM to make your backups more efficient. So if you have 200 terabytes of data, um, you may speed up uh, your proxy to make full backup for, for example, four hours or one hour or eight hours. So it's just uh, amount of proxies. And from Vim side, it doesn't require any additional licenses. So you should just request IT Global uh, to uh, tune up performance and they will give you more resources in terms of core and RAM and your backup will run more faster. In terms of uh, Vim, it's uh, easy as easy as it could be. Vim Backup Repository is the component which gives you the possibility to keep your data on premises or in the cloud, in private or in public cloud. So this is typically backup storage. So uh, we use the underlying hardware layer. So we, we don't have any restrictions uh, on the amount of processes. So we just uh, give you the possibility to grant CPU and RAM uh, to process data more efficiently. So in terms of supported repositories, we have a lot of storages. So IT Global uses uh, only supported storages, so we have capability to use just Windows Server. If it's your requirement, we can use Linux repository with immutability, for example, or uh, something in the cloud as well. And directly attached storages, so Synology, QNAP, and uh, whatever you would like, this can be supported and uh, it will be officially supported by IT Global, so you should check with them what they have on the repository. Let's move on. So repository has uh, more capability than just backup storage. So we, you can tier uh, the data. So you can group your repositories into the pool of uh, tiered repositories and we call it scale out backup repository. So there is an option to evacuate your backups immediately if um, you know that the server is not running uh, fine or there is not enough space. So you should not uh, put it into maintenance window and wait for additional hardware. You can just move backups to another server, get more performance or get, get more uh, space and etc. And you can also offload data to capacity tier. It's uh, supported so you can offload your data to object storage and make some space savings for long term, for example, uh, storage. So GFS backups like full backups for five years uh, are really relevant not to kept on a regular storage on the regular disks, but offloading this data to object storage is really efficient. So it will also have kind of the dupe on top of it. But, and yeah, uh, it's uh, used more and more widely in next version of uh, Vim Backup and Replication and Vim Cloud Connect, we will have an option to put data directly to object storage. It's also a request, but uh, now, 
we still have performance tier and capacity tier and it works perfectly and uh, IT Global support this configuration. So uh, there are two modes like immediate copy backup or move just oldest backups. So it's policy based and it's, it's transparent. So for recoveries, you don't need to move data from object storage to local storage and then start recovery. You can just run instant virtual machine recovery. Uh, by these words, I mean you, you can run virtual machine from object storage in AWS. And we had a couple of proof of concept that it works. On the next tier, so we have archive tier, uh, which is Amazon Glacier and uh, Azure Blob Storage Archive tier. So if you would like to move GFS backups to long-term archive storage, it's also doable. And now let's speak about the service provider data protection. So what we usually have, I will point the mouse uh, here. Here we have source hosts. Uh, this could be 6i, Hi Hyper-V, AHV, IT Global supports VMware infrastructure. So it's also included in the offering and Hyper-V is usually um, a bit tailored solution uh, than VMware. So VMware gives more flexibility. It works in much more efficient way. And that's good news that IT Global supports VMware infrastructure. Here we have uh, Vim Backup and Replication and proxies, which are connected to um, the hypervisor and give you the possibility for load balancing. We have scale out backup repository in this infrastructure and object storage if needed. Uh, Alec mentioned previously that we have a self-service portal and this portal is a web UI. So this is another component, which is called Enterprise Manager, which enables self-service backup capabilities. So you might not have uh, just been backup on replication server and configure it on your own. IT Global can give you a portal of a UI where you can uh, make changes and apply any backup st strategy you have to your environment placed in IT Global. And uh, yeah, this is how service provider will, will configure a tenant. So this is not Vim backup and replication. This is enterprise manager. And here we have a button for self service. So they just give you a repository, a quota on this repository and job scheduling. So uh, there are four tiers of uh, job scheduling allowance. The first one is allow everything. And this is the option which you might probably need. So they will see your data, your quotas. Uh, I'm not sure about prices, how, will, how they will charge you, but you can ask this in Q&A section. Uh, if you have any technical questions, drop them also into the Q&A pane. I will reply uh, not immediately, but in the end of the session, I will take a look and uh, reply to each and every question. If there will be any not replyable question at the moment, I will take some time and follow up with an email afterwards. Uh, tenant capabilities. So previously, that was service provider. So it's all driven by right mouse button click. Uh, you don't need to script anything. You create tenant, you assign a repository to it, quota, and you go. And for, for tenants, uh, tenants can create backup jobs. They have a fancy dashboard here on the first page with the backup statistics, like how many VMs protected, how, how many virtual machines protected, what's uh, what the total virtual machine size, uh, jobs estimation, jobs duration, uh, average speed, uh, backup storage, how many is used uh, by quota, and warnings and errors. So you will see all of them under this fancy dashboard. And uh, also, you may ask IT Global what's, what happened, why is there error if it has been. So uh, tenant capabilities uh, do not are not only limited to backup. So you can have your own recoveries. So you can restore virtual machines and VApps. You can make VApp restore and perform application items restore within this UI. So you will see here after dashboard jobs capabilities and then virtual machines, files and items. This all stands for recoveries. So file level recoveries are also uh, UI driven. So you can uh, go into your, for example, C drive, like in my case, Pick here a restore point, uh, see the data. So in this uh, case, data will not be transferred until it's marked as restored. So you, you just simply mount the data to the mount server, which is usually a repository, and uh, it's available for read and restore operations. So you can restore with two options, overwrite and keep, and you can also download files if needed. So file level restore uses uh, VIX uh, protocol uh, and application items restore requires a network connection from a repository to uh, the mount server. So it might be 
tricky sometimes, but if service provider supports it, it's available for you. The only point here is security. So if you would like to have your data on the repository, which could be uh, placed uh, to enterprise manager, usually it's not a brainer. So just to have kind of a bottom line. So from this portal, you can restore virtual machines and VAPs. You can use file level restore and perform application items restore. If you would like to run disaster recovery procedure, for example, uh, like instant virtual machine recovery uh, to rapidly recover your virtual machine, you can request service provider to run instant VM recovery for, for a specific virtual machine. So all options are available to you. So you are not limited only to this functionality. You can always uh, cooperate with your service provider. So service providers, in case you would like to run some specific recoveries which are not under UI, uh, like recover to cloud or run instant virtual machine recovery, you can anytime request this and they will go to Vim backup on replication, find your backups as a tenant and make this recovery possible. So instant virtual machine recovery, possible uh, all available restores like an enterprise manager and restore to Amazon and to Azure is also doable. So you are not only limited to, to the enterprise manager UI. Uh, one more important point, which I would like to highlight is Vim backup file format. So uh, for Vim backup on replication for Vim agents, for Vim other products, we have a set of VBK and VIBs. So if you would like to recover it on premises, if you would like to get these backups uh, to your infrastructure and recover them on your own, not into the data center or service provider by any means, you can just copy and paste these files, then import them to Vim Backup and Replication Community Edition. And no matter what size of data it is, no matter how many virtual machines are there and how old they are, if you have a backup file, you can recover them I mean, virtual machines, files and folders recover to uh, public cloud directly from the free edition of Vim backup on replication. I mentioned this uh, not just to say this, but uh, one of uh, use cases, if you are a Vim client already, if you have Vim backup on replication on your premises, so you can also transfer these files to service provider infrastructure and they can migrate you. If you use uh, Cloud Connect and uh, IT Global supports Cloud Connect uh, product. So Cloud Connect is the secondary destination for your backups. It's an offsite backup. And you probably run uh, these backups on your premises. You can send them to IT Global and they can recover your data to their data center without replication if needed. So Vim conversion matrix. So I will continue speaking about the backup capabilities because you don't need to run any conversion. If you would like to change your platform, for example, you are running Hyper-V now, you would like to migrate to IT Global, you should not request for Hyper-V, you can recover data to vSphere and go on. Uh, Windows agent, Linux machines, uh, they are also can be converted to vSphere machines. If you run some instances in Asia or in AWS and you want to get rid of this public cloud, you can also migrate it to vSphere infrastructure. One more product which we have and which could be purchased from IT Global uh, is Vim One. It's part of uh, Vim availability suite. So we usually recommend it for purchasing on top of Vim Backup and Replication because it gives you full visibility on Vim Backup and Replication repositories, proxies, on your backups, on total virtual machines, size on total amount of uh, backups on the amount of restore points. You can also uh, identify bottlenecks with it. So there is intelligent diagnostic, which is connected with Vim support database and could give you some tips and tricks for improving your infrastructure. And IT Global can use this product as well for you and run some reports on your demand. So uh, let's move on to Cloud Connect. Uh, if you are under scenario when you would like to just send your data to service provider DC, so for offsite backup on replication, we have a Beam Cloud Connect. So I had a couple of requests when customer requested that they need to recover data or keep the data in the cloud in Azure or in AWS. This is doable with just simple Vim backup and replication. Vim Cloud Connect stands for specific secured connection between your Vim backup and replication server and service provider infrastructure. So you can send the data within the single port connection via SSL tunnel. You don't need to even establish VPN. It's all there under the hood. So Vim Cloud Connect uh, stands for secured connectivity of your infrastructure and service provider data center. So Service provider in this case gives you a cloud repository, a repository or infrastructure as a service. 
So you can back up your data from on-premises to service provider. You can send backup copies from your infrastructure to service provider infrastructure. And for emergency, you can ask to recover your data, which is no longer could be recovered into your production environment, but you can recover it to service provider environment, to IT global environment. So uh, on your site, you usually have Vimba Kappa replication server, some repository and some hosts. So you establish a SSL tunnel. Uh, service provider has cloud gateways for load balancing instead of proxies, because we speak here only about backup transfer. So backup has been already processed on this side by proxies. So here we have cloud gateways, which establish connection and uh, keep your uh, data transfer in the secured way. And then this data is being put on the cloud repository, which is infrastructure as a service. Multi-tenancy. So you don't need to take care that your data might be recovered by uh, different other customers. So data is uh, split and fenced between each other. So tenants have different um, pools of visible data and it's securely protected from each other. So from Cloud Connect, uh, so this is your Vim backup on application server where you have sent your backups via Cloud Connect to your service provider. You should not request each and every time for your service provider to get access to your data so you can run recoveries. Instant virtual machine recovery is not possible because of security reasons and the network connection might not be stable or good enough. So you might uh, run full virtual machine recovery and guest files. Restore to Amazon and Azure is also restricted for now. Uh, it's a more business question than technical, but most of service providers agreed that uh, they don't want their customers to recover data from cloud repository, from cloud and connect repository to their AWS or Azure subscription. So if you would like to make this type of restore from cloud connect, you need to get this data back to your site or make a request to a service provider to have this option available. and. They can put a Vim backup on replication into their infrastructure just specifically for your backups, give you access via RDP, for example, and you might recover directly to the cloud. So uh, specific features of Cloud Connect, which are not in Vim backup on replication, not only cloud gateways, but uh, there is also an option to make a tenant to tape backup. So if you would like to make air gapped solution, you may request a service provider for tape as a service. You can change the password. So to establish a connection, service provider gives you credentials. So they create tenant like username and password and send you this data. Later, if you don't want your service provider to be familiar with your credentials, you can change them. So you can change password and no one knows it except you. There is one more really important option, especially nowadays. Uh, there is an insider protection. So if your Vim backup and replication have been compromised uh, by ransomware or by uh, backup admin, maybe accidentally he deleted backups or Vim backup and replication is totally removed, these backups can will not be removed in Cloud Connect repository. So if service provider puts this simple checkbox to keep deleted backup files for a specific period of time, they will not be removed from Cloud Connect repository. Usually changes are replicated between Vim backup on replication and Cloud Connect repository. But if there is this checkbox, uh, your data will stay in Cloud Connect repository. And this is uh, an advanced option for service providers. So if you would like to have this extra layer for, of protection, you might also request it. So it's per tenant setting. So some of customers might not want this because it's just offsite copy. And uh, in case of emergency, you're sure that you will recover the data, but I would strongly recommend to use this recycle bin. So yeah, tenant must restore service provider, sorry, must request service provider to have this uh, capability and also to recover data. So the data is removed to a specific folder and will not be visible for Vim backup and replication user. So if your admin or ransomware has deleted your Vim backup and replication, then they quickly recovered it, restore connection, uh, and they would like to totally remove the data. This data will not be visible to them. So you must request service provider to get this data visible back again, or maybe to transfer you this data via flash drive or to migrate this data into service provider data center. It's also a nice option. 
speaking about ransomware. So we have hardened Linux repository, uh, which has a retention lock enabled. Probably you know in AWS S3 and the three compatible storages, uh, there are these advanced features to not allow anyone to modify your backups within the specified time frame. So hardened Linux repository is supported by Cloud Connect and by Vim Backup and Replication. And if by any chance you would like to remove this data from your repository, it will not be possible because it will be locked because Vim Backup and Replication and Vim Cloud Connect doesn't have root access and they uh, run on the specific credentials uh, where you can write the data, but you cannot change it. So when retention is being applied, the data will be removed. But if this retention chain is not uh, higher than immutability checkbox and immutability period, so here I have seven days example, this data will not be removed uh, with retention. So it will be on the repository anyway. So you should just keep it in mind that, this, that you should need more space and pay for more space to IT Global. So uh, in case of disasters, what you can do? So usually tenants have some agents, maybe if on Windows or Linux without Vim Backup and Replication and, and a regular scenario with a hypervisor on Vim Backup and Replication. So data is sent to Cloud Connect and probably you lost this infrastructure and you cannot have access to it anymore. No matter what happens, it's not safe to recover data in your data center anymore. So you can request IT Global to give you um, a special, well, let's call it a service Vim Backup and Replication Server, a hosting Vim Backup and Replication Server, where you can add a cloud repository server, I mean, your folder with the backups, make import of these backups and run instant VM recovery into hosting environment, into IT Global environment. So the case is simple. You lose your data center, it's not safe or you don't have any workloads anymore there, you can request uh, this operation to be done for instant migration to hosting environment. So this is also an option. And it's also option, option for recoveries of physical servers. So agents stand for mostly physical servers and they can be converted into virtual infrastructure as well. So this is a really nice uh, tip for you to, well, upgrade your strategy, let's say. On the next topic, I would like to highlight uh, cloud native solutions for AWS and Azure. So previously we spoke only about uh, VMware and uh, we have also solution for AWS and Azure. So those clients who would like those customers, uh, I mean you who has AWS and Azure workloads, you can also protect them with uh, IT Global solution. So Vim will help you to uh, utilize backups, native backups with snapshots, with object storage, uh, you can keep the data in the same cloud, but you will have backups. So, and you can recover this data to your own premises. So we have a couple of options uh, to make this, but they are driven by Vim Backup and Replication. So Vim Backup and Replication stands not only for uh, physical and virtual environment on premises, but also in the cloud. So we have a native solution, which acts as a plugin for Vim Backup and Replication, where you can manage snapshots, data recoveries, and etc. cetera. And um, it's just for you to know that this could be also utilized. So I will speak more about the solutions, how they work, because, uh, well, they're not new, but uh, not everyone knows about them. So with this product portfolio, Vim Backup for Azure, Vim Backup for AWS, Vim Backup for Google Cloud, I will focus on AWS and Azure today. Uh, we completed the strategy to uh, make backups and recovery to the cloud, from the cloud, within the cloud, and between the cloud. So you can migrate your data from AWS to Azure, vice versa. You can migrate data from public cloud to private cloud, which is IT Global, and etc. So how backup works? So typically in the cloud, uh, you have some infrastructure in AWS and Azure. We have Vim Backup for AWS and for Azure. And you can run just simply uh, policy-driven snapshots. And you can also create backups from the snapshots to directly to object storage. So you don't need to download the data outside of your data center. You will just have a copy of your data in object storage. You can improve this. So usually this is what I recommend and this is how everyone is doing it. So Vim Backup and Replication is in place. It's connected to Vim Appliances and you can uh, 
run instant VM recovery from the cloud. So we, you will have VM backup and replication external repository, which will be basically an object storage here. So it's just a logical entity which identifies backups in object storage. We are familiar with the format of uh, VM backup for AWS and Azure. Uh, and we can run all recoveries. So you can instantly recover virtual machine from the cloud and you can instantly recover uh, files and items from these virtual machines which are kept in the cloud and backups done by Vim Backup for Azure or AWS. You can make a backup copy from the cloud. So if you would like to run your uh, backups on your premises, you can download the data from object storage. So uh, you just collect the data just like in the way of recovery, you can run simple backup copy and download data on your premises. And then you can recover this data in full without any limitations to your own premises environment. So backup copy can be initiated from uh, Vim backup and replication. So you can directly restore this data back to the cloud. So if you have this copy of the data, so it's not mandatory, but optional for you if you're running these appliances, Vim backup for AWS and Vim backup for Azure. You keep uh, data on your premises. So you download them with the, with the backup copy. You can recover them uh, to, to the cloud rapidly. So once data resides here or there, no matter. In any case, it can be recovered to public cloud. And you can restore. So here, let's say we have Vim Backup for AWS as an appliance. We also have some EC2 infrastructure, snapshots, uh, S3 storage. So with Vim Backup on replication, you don't need to download the data to your premises. You can directly restore data from S3 to Azure as a virtual machine or partially. So you can migrate it back to on-premises as well. So not, not only to Azure, but also to your hypervisor on your premises. And Alec, I would like to give you the word. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Maxim. Yeah, we have uh, a kind of promotion. So the uh, attendees of uh, today's webinar can use promo code ITG Cloud One and during first quarter of this year. So if you ask for uh, public or private cloud service with us, uh, with uh, all other services that are included, including backup, uh, we can give one month of free service. Uh, so please uh, remember this uh, ITG Cloud One. Uh, you can contact us and uh, receive this bonification. Yeah. And I think we proceed with the questions and answers. Um, actually, we have some questions in chat. Um, so the first one is from Milena Pavlovich. Is it possible to restore from Vim Cloud to Oracle Cloud directly? And what does it take? That's a really good question. So uh, to Oracle Cloud, no, it's not yet there. So I haven't had it on the slides, but we are moving with Oracle integration. So I would say that in next versions, probably it would be possible. As of now, I mean, the UI driven. As of now, you can export disks and uh, just simply attach them. So there is a capability, so you should deal with IT Global. They can export disks for you as content and you can attach them to your virtual machines in Oracle. Yes, we can We can help with this. So and expect that in the future versions, we'll have it like out automated. And the second question is from Dmitry. Uh, do I understand well that object storage is for data that needs to be kept for more than five years with respect to the governmental regulations, for instance, financial data? This is one of use cases, uh, but if you would like to have a redundant copy in object storage, it's also doable, so data can be mirrored. Uh, so the same amount of data which you have on regular repository can be mirrored to object storage. So it's up to your strategy. It's usually, yes, it's usually defined on the like uh, backup policy. So what data, where should be stored, uh, for what reasons, and uh, each institution uh, developed by itself this. And also uh, we can help to the customer to with some uh, ideas how it can be done. But yes, it's one of the use cases. So I do not see any more questions at the moment.
So Dmitry is asking what are the cases. Uh, so I think Dmitry, we can uh, uh, talk a little bit uh, about backup and all these procedures in more detail then offline. So please contact us uh, with uh, the email that is uh, on the screen. So info uh, itglobal uh, dot com. Uh, and uh, or maybe after the webinar, we will try to find your data and we will contact you to discuss it like uh, more precisely about the cases, about your particular case, uh, what kind of requirements do you have uh, and so on and so forth. So, and as well, uh, all the attendees. So if you have some questions that probably you were not able to um for some reasons to write down but you have some concerns uh doubts so please feel free to contact uh we will try to help you with all uh the things that may be of interest to you well um uh, thank you very much uh thank you very much maxim it was uh, really very interesting uh presentation and uh, I hope that uh, the participants uh, were able to get uh, important information and uh, I would like to remind them uh, to remind to everybody that uh, backups uh, is a really very important part uh, of uh, the IT infrastructure and we need to think it over uh, we need to configure and we need to maintain uh, it well and uh, thanks to uh, Veeam software, uh, we have a very powerful tool that helps to us and to our customers to guarantee the safety and protection of uh, our uh, data. So if you have some additional questions or requests, please contact and uh, we will help you with uh, all the information. Yeah, thank you for your time thank you for your questions and for your feedback yeah well in this case uh, i think we've we are finishing and thank you very much uh have a good uh day yes the i think it is